Ovulation is the process of an ovary releasing an egg. This happens at some point between two periods in an individual's menstrual cycle. Those with female anatomy have two ovaries, and it's pretty common that ovaries take turns releasing an egg each month. It can be hard to know when someone is ovulating, although some people do have symptoms. Most commonly, someone might experience about 24 hours of cramping around the time of ovulation. This is called middle schmerz and is nothing to be concerned about, but should only last about 24 hours. We usually describe something called a fertile window, which starts about five days before ovulation and lasts through about 24 hours after ovulation. It starts five days before ovulation because sperm can survive in a uterus up to five days. And then it lasts about 24 hours after ovulation because once an egg is released from an ovary, it can survive in the uterus for about 24 hours. Thereafter, it's unable to be fertilized. Even though some people don't experience cramps around the time of ovulation, there are a few other ways that someone might be able to detect when they're ovulating. The first is the calendar method. Keeping track of your periods month to month can help you figure out how long your menstrual cycle is. You can then take the total number of days of your menstrual cycle and subtract 14. And that's usually the day of the menstrual cycle around which someone ovulates. A second way to tell when you're ovulating is by something called basal body temperature. You can determine your basal body temperature by taking your temperature after you wake up every morning. Plot this on a calendar for a couple of months and see if you notice any patterns. Some people will notice a slight increase in their basal body temperature around the time of ovulation. Another way to figure out if you are ovulating is by cervical mucus checks or looking at the discharge that comes out of your vagina. You'll probably notice that it changes throughout your menstrual cycle. Around the time of ovulation is when the cervical mucus turns into like an egg white consistency a little bit sticky, pretty clear, but that's when it's most nurturing for an egg and fertilization to occur. One final way that you can figure out if you're ovulating is by purchasing over-the-counter ovulation tests. The way those work is by measuring a hormone called LH, or luteinizing hormone, in your pee, and it predicts around the time which you are about to ovulate. Because the hormones that regulate your period are actually spread throughout your body, it can be common to experience some other changes during your period as well. However, if any of them are especially concerning or interfere with your daily life, you can chat with a doctor about things that you can do to help control them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about your body and sex, you can subscribe to our channel. We'll post videos like this regularly. And if you have any questions for us, please leave them in the comment section.